Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I have some new products from Melody Susie that I'm super excited to try. They reached out to me and wanted me to review their brand new acrylic brush. I have seen a couple of reviews on it and this looks like it's gonna be a really nice brush. You all know I've been on my acrylic journey and I've been looking for higher quality brushes and so I'm really excited to give this one a try. So I really like the packaging that this comes in. It's really beautiful. It says beauty, make beauty a new smart. Okay, and then over here, um, it gives you tips and tricks on how to properly maintain your brush, which is really helpful. Um, so yeah, y'all, let's pop this open and see what it is looking like. Ooh, super cute. I like this a lot, and then the marble handle is really beautiful, so let's take a look. Okay. So this is the size 10 brush, and I'm really liking it. I think up to this point, I've only been working with the six and the eight brush and so it's going to be cool working with a little bit of a bigger brush. I'm going to pop this off. This is what the bristles of the brush are looking like. Really nice. So what I am going to do is go ahead and break it. You all know that they have that packing powder with the brushes so I'm going to go ahead and break it with you guys here just to see. Okay. So you all see how it has like those white pieces. What you want to do is um, go through and kind of just like rub the bristles like this to get all that powder to kind of separate. Wow, y'all, it looks really nice and fluffy. Wow. So I'm gonna keep flicking it back and forth. As I'm flicking it back and forth, I actually do see like the little flakes popping all over the place. So I'm gonna keep on doing that until I don't really see it anymore. Yeah, this is what it looks like pre-fluffed. This looks like a really nice quality brush. This is 100% Kaliski hair. Um, and so I noticed that when working with Kaliski brushes, you're actually able to hold a lot more monomer in the brush, which is really nice. So I'm going to take a dapping dish with a little bit of alcohol and I'm just going to saturate my brush with it just to go ahead and get the rest of those, um, just to get the rest of that, that packing, um, powder out of it and as you're rubbing your hands through it you actually can feel that kind of feels like just a little bit slimy um, that is still that packing powder so you'll want to just keep on saturating your brush until you don't feel that anymore okay hi Yara yes Yara hi how are you mm -hmm. my little one has came to join the party so you'll just keep doing it until you don't feel it anymore I also have a napkin here I'm just using to kind of wipe the brush off on. Hi. Hi. You say hi to the happy family? Mm. Say hi. Uh, say hi. This mm -hmm. <laughs> Say hi. Then you just keep repeating that. So yeah, y'all, this brush seems really nice and of really high quality. Um, you see it goes to a really nice point. It's not pinched, but that's okay. I don't really think I need to pinch my brushes when I'm doing my acrylic, as long as they can keep their shape when I'm doing a ca application. I don't really care too much about it being pinched or not. Um, and so the next thing I wanna do too is I'm gonna take just a minuscule amount of cuticle oil. I'm gonna show you guys how much. I'm gonna just do like this much, that much cuticle oil. I'm gonna rub it between my two fingers and then I'm rubbing it in between the bristles of the brush. I do this just really to hydrate the hairs of the brush. Um, I don't know if this step is really necessary or not, but I feel like it helps with keeping the shape and um, keeping it nice and hydrated because it, I mean, it's, it's Kalinsky hair. So yeah, so that is how I've prepped my brush. Melody Susie also was nice enough to send over this beautiful brush holder case. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what this looks like. I absolutely love this packaging, really beautiful and sleek. Their website is here. Wow, you guys. This is super fancy smancy, okay? Yes, look at this. I absolutely love this. Okay, so this is how y'all can store y'all brushes and style, okay? So I love, it's a really nice kind of faux leather. Feels really nice and sturdy, high quality. Love that it has the Melody Susie logo right here. And yeah, that's what the back of it looks like. Let's pop it open and see what it looks like. Love this zipper, baby. This is, this is fancy, okay? Oh, wow. 
Yes, I absolutely love this. So it has spots for all of your brushes. So if you're somebody who's into nail art like myself, you can store all of your nail art brushes in here, keep them nice, organized, and clean, and dust free, which is really nice. So you can hold up to 16 brushes in here, which is really amazing. And so the acrylic brush here, you can put that there. I have here my Young Nails acrylic brush, so you can put that here. We have here like a dust brush that you can put in here. So yeah, I mean, you can put all type of brushes in here. If you're a traveling nail tech or if you're someone who travels with nail supplies, this would be really great for you. So yeah, they were kind enough to send this to me. That was really sweet. So a special thanks to Melody Susie for sending this over to me for review. Now I'm gonna get into a basic look. I do wanna do an acrylic overlay over my natural nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and file, shape, buff them off camera. I do have a dedicated video for that. So I'm gonna leave that link down in the description box as well as in the cards and I'll be right back. Okay, happy people. So I did end up doing an acrylic overlay on my natural nails, but unfortunately I did not like how the footage turned out. So I'm gonna showcase this brush in another way and I'm just gonna swatch some brand new acrylics that I got that I haven't had a chance to um, swatch yet. So I did pick up a couple of more cover colors from Mia Secret. I have some Glam and Glitz in my collection now, which I'm really excited about. And then I'm also going to be testing out the Not Polish color here. And that's actually what I'm wearing on my hands here. It's called Touch of Lips. So I'm going to go ahead and get all these acrylic swatched for you guys and see how this number 10 brush works with different acrylics. I'm going to go in with my Young Nails monomer as always. And so I'm just going to pour some monomer right on in here. Like so. Okay. Like I said, I did already use this color on my hands. That's what it looks like. But I definitely want to show you guys how this acrylic swatches. Um, so that is what it looks like. It's a really beautiful nude, as you all can see. And so, yeah, when swatching acrylics, um, you'll want to first go ahead and saturate your um, swatch stick with a little bit of monomer. And I'm going to show you guys how to pick up a bead. So because this is a number 10 brush, um, it holds a lot more monomer. And so I wasn't used to um, working with it on my natural nail. And I ended up, it was difficult to get these nails. And I'll just say that. So I'm going to go ahead and saturate the brush here and do tap, tap, tap. And then I'm going to bounce three times. One, two three and you all will see with this brush you can pick up a pretty decent sized bead here and that's how it sets up here and then you just set it down now the one thing with this acrylic is I did notice that there was a little bit of marbling which I was a little sad to see uh, but when you know once you started working with it the marbling kind of goes away so I'm gonna go ahead and just swipe that on down like so but this brush, y'all, is super easy to work with. The acrylic doesn't get stuck in it at all. Okay, I'm gonna pick up another bead and show you one more time. One, two, three, pick up and set it down. Okay, and then swipe. Light swiping motions will get you a nice, beautiful swatch here. So yeah, this brush really easy to work with. And like I said, none of the acrylic actually gets stuck inside the bristles of the brush, which I really like. Okay, so that's the only not polished acrylic that I have. Next, I'm gonna go in with Cover Almond. I've been dying to try this acrylic from your secret, so I have this. And again, when you pick up the bead, you'll wanna saturate your brush like so. Tap off one, two, three. Because it's a bigger brush, I'm tapping off three times. And then I'll pick up a bead. One, two, three. And then this is how it sets up. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna set it down. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so I just learned something here. So it seemed like I had let it set a little bit. It seemed like it set a little bit quick when I put it down, but I used the body of the brush just now to help it come down and that was that really did something. Yeah, I really like the quality of this brush. It holds a lot of monomer. The acrylic doesn't stick within the bristles. Like this is a really, really nice brush, especially for beginners who's struggling. As I mentioned in some of my other videos, I did start off using synthetic brushes and I actually would recommend go ahead and investing 
and a higher quality brush especially if you're wanting to really get into acrylics um, it'll just make your life a lot easier because I'm learning now that how I learned to work with acrylics with a synthetic brush is actually different than how I'm going to have to work with them with um, you know a Kalinsky brush next I'm going to go in with cover golden by Mia secret I was really excited to try this out this is a really beautiful um, nude color that has um, just some slight shimmer to it as I'm working with this brush I do think that I'm gonna like it if it's if it's pinched Y'all, this nude is beautiful. Holy smokes. Um, I should have went in with this nude. Oh, this is gorgeous. This color is absolutely stunning. Dang, now I wish this the one I had a date on my, my other hand. Next, I'm going to go in with Glam and Glitz, okay, and this is Cosmic Star, and this is a really beautiful, stunning acrylic. Oh, that is just really beautiful, wow. And the last color I'm going to be going in with is from Glam and Glitz, and it's called Crystal. And this is a really beautiful glitter acrylic as well. Look at how gorgeous this is. Absolutely beautiful. Okay y'all, so I just finished swatching all of my acrylics and this is what's left on the brush. Just a little bit of glitter, flakes and such. So I'm going to show you all how I go about cleaning my brush as well. So typically what I'll do is I'll saturate my brush with some monomer. And then I'll normally take my cuticle pusher but for some reason I can't find it so I'm just going to use this little tool here. And I will just gently get all of the acrylic that was left inside the brush out. And this is also going to help get rid of those glitters that's there. And I'll continue to do that with the little bit of monomer that's left in there, right? And again, because I use glitter, there is some glitter I'm noticing at the bottom of that monomer. So I'm going to go ahead, have to go ahead and um, empty this out. So I'm going to clean this out with a paper towel. And once that's cleaned out, I am going to go in with a little bit more monomer to really thoroughly clean my brush. And that's just a little bit. And that's just going to help me get rid of all the rest of those loose glitters. And then finish cleaning my brush out like so. And I'm really gentle with how I'm scrubbing the brush. And that's perfect and that's how I clean my brush I'm gonna go around the handle here with a with paper towel just to clean off the monomer that was on the handle and go down the length of the brush and that is how I clean it and then I just normally shape it back to its little point here 
and then this is how I'm going to store my brush until my next use. Um, I really do like this brush a lot. I noticed that on the handle here, um, it's not like monomer has gotten on the handle and I noticed that it's not like messing up, which I really like. The only thing that's happening is that the, the, the name and label is rubbing off, but that's not a big deal because the brush itself seems like it's going to hold up to monomer. So this plastic as well as this is all uh, monomer resistant, which is really nice. So yeah, I really like this brush a lot and I do recommend it. This is something that's perfect for beginners and it's really high quality. So yeah, special thanks to Ms. Melody Susie for sending this over for review. I really like it a lot. Alrighty, so this is what all the acrylics look like after they've been swatched. This here is the Touch of Lips by um, Not Polish. It's a really beautiful nude. It's kind of like a deeper brown color here. And this is what it would actually look like on the nails. So that's really pretty. The only thing I didn't like about this one is that it did marble a little bit. Um, but this is what it would look like uh, with top coated. Next we have Almond by Mia Secret. This is a really pretty kind of like like a lavender, like a pinky purple. This is what it would look like top coated. Next we have Golden by Mia Secret. I absolutely love this nude. It looks really beautiful. I feel like it would be like the perfect nude for me. It's a really beautiful nude against my skin tone and I love that it has like those hollow those really fine hollow glitters in it. Absolutely beautiful. This is what it would look like top coated. Next we have the Glam and Glitz Cosmic Star. Y'all, let's take a moment for this stunning glitter. I love that it's yellow. I love the Mylar flakes and I love the glitters in there. This is what it would look like top coated. Absolutely beautiful. I love this a lot. And then last but not least is Crystal. It's pink crystal and I love this kind of orange yellow shift on top of this light pink. It is just really, really gorgeous. Perfect for the summertime. Kind of reminds me of like some pink lemonade, but glam, you know, really, really beautiful. So yeah, I really enjoyed working with all of these acrylics actually. The Glam and Glitz acrylics, I felt like they are very beginner friendly. The Mia Secret acrylics are also very beginner friendly. You just have to drain a little bit more monomer out of the brush. And then the Not Polished was also beginner friendly as well. So I actually would recommend all of these brands if you're a beginner wanting to get into acrylics. I'm definitely wanting to add more of the Mia Secret acrylics and the Glam and Glitz acrylics to my collection. With Not Polished, I have my eyes set on the Black Friday mystery box. So that's how I plan to build my Not Polished collection because they actually are a little bit pricey. I think I paid like $15 or $20 for this and so yeah um that's that's a nice little penny there but i definitely wanted to test out more of their acrylics and so yeah y'all i hope you all enjoyed the video i do also want to say thank you guys so so much we just hit 3,000 subscribers omg i am beyond grateful so i just want to take a moment stop um and send a huge special thanks to every last member of my happy family i appreciate every single like every single share every single view every single comment i love talking with you guys in the comments um so yes thank you all so much for helping us get to this milestone and i'm looking forward to the next one okay i do have a giveaway coming soon so stay tuned i'm not exactly sure when that video is going to go up but that will be coming up here in the near future so yes thank you all again so much i appreciate y'all so yeah i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye